in the past, I have suggested that the word Awa could be the candidate word to capture Dharma, the natural way, natural law in Anglo-Saxon, the language of our forefathers. However, there are issues with this word. This word means law in the context of marriage, marriage vow, a woman bound by the law of marriage, hence a wife. Further, when applied the suffix of ish as a noun, it bears the meaning of dishonor, disgrace, and as an adjective, bears the meaning of disgrace. This goes very much against of what Dharma stands for, which is the opposite of these meanings. This can only cause confusion, because there is also aulik, which means lawful. This makes it very hard to describe someone who is dharmic in Old English. When one adjective means disgraced, and the other, similar to the former in form, has the meaning of lawful. Thus, awa has its own problems when trying to convey for Dharma the natural way, natural law. As I said before in a previous video, Awa and its cognate can point toward two Dharma because law and marriage are Dharmic things. In order to understand anything, one must understand X thing on its own terms. That is how one gets closer to the truth. Thus, when working with an older language, one must adhere to what things meant back then. It would be intellectually honest to tell things as they are because that is working in accordance of Dharma. As for Yakund, there are less problems. For example, Yakunda, adjective, means natural, native, the usual course of things. Yakundalik, adjective, means natural, according to nature, by extension Dharma. Yakundalika, adverb, means naturally. Yakundish, is not attested, which takes a huge weight off our shoulders. Thank the gods for that. Thus, in Old English, nature and natural law are expressed as one, essentially. Unlike present-day English, we use the Latin-derived natura and Sanskrit dharma. The major point here is to not overlook what it says in the Bosworth Toller Anglo-Saxon Dictionary that Yakund is nature in general, in the abstract, the established order of things that of itself says Dharma more than anything. Thus, this is why Yakund is the word for Dharma in Anglo-Saxon, the language of our forefathers. Thank you for watching, please subscribe for more videos and please become a patron at my Patreon page where you can find the link down below. Thank you, good night. Wesat ye hal, be ye well.